We all love seeing the Hammerhead Corvette and Rogue One take out Imperial Star Destroyers, but how much does one of these cost? The Saferna class Hammerhead C-80 Corvette was developed by the Corellian Engineering Corporation and the Rendili Star Drive. It served as the mainline warship in the Alliance to Restore the Republic and as civilian use as a freighter typically used by transportation companies as it was built for the transportation of goods and individuals safely, comfortably, and without the need for escort ships. Armed with a number of light and heavy turbo lasers, and of course it was designed for ramming attacks. With heavy shields and ran a reinforced hull in the front, even heavy collisions only resulted in minor damages to the hammerhead's bow. It was also easy to upgrade with proton torpedoes, adjust the sublight engines to make it faster, and increase the hull size for transportation. And with its heavy defenses and ramming ability coupled with its decent armament, hammerheads were deployed as attack ships and were fully capable of taking on vessels of similar size or even larger ships when deployed in groups. These were so effective it saw action in all eras in Star Wars. Being developed late into the Clone Wars, it was also used by the Empire, Rebellion, and New Republic. And it's even been seen being used by pirates. For one Hammerhead Corvette, it would cost 1 million credits, a very cheap ship all things considering. And as we've seen, one Hammerhead can take out two Imperial Star Destroyers, meaning the 1 million credit ship can take down two ships worth 300 million credits. That's 1 300th of the cost. And a fun fact, the Saferna class Hammerhead Corvette, the name of the ship, Saferna is the name of the genus of Hammerhead Sharks. Next up is what appears to be a Hammerhead Corvette on steroids, the Starhawk. It was built in secret at the Nadiri Dockyards and it was assembled from salvage parts of Imperial Star Destroyers. And it was meant to be the equal of Imperial Star Destroyers, as the warship was equipped with laser cannons, ion torpedoes, concussion missiles, and a tractor beam with magnite crystals, making it 10 times stronger than a Star Destroyer's tractor beam, and it had no problem trapping ships much larger than it. And for one of these, it would cost 60 million credits. And there were only three of these ever made, the Amnity, the Concord, and the Unity, totaling 180 million credits for all three of them. In comparison, would you have one Starhawk or 60 Hammerheads? Which one would you choose? One Imperial Star Destroyer or 150 Hammerheads? I don't know why the Republic just didn't build these in mass since they were so cheap, but that is the cost of the Starhawk and the Hammerhead class Corvette. Subscribe if you would like, and until next video, goodbye.